Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by today. As promised from the last video, we're gonna be discussing the PPE rear differential cover and exactly why I went with this cover versus other covers that are available. If you guys missed that install video, make sure you go check that out. It was a very good step-by-step -step one. Had a few hiccups, but I, but I worked my way through that. In regards to why I went with the PPE rear diff cover versus any other brand, I know the very first thing people are gonna ask me is why didn't you go with Banks? Gail Banks has his testing done um, because he's just got an a insane amount of money and he respectfully deserves that he did his testing on his rear diff cover um, specifically basically to sell his rear diff cover and he did an outstanding job selling that rear diff cover with those videos um, the videos prove a lot of points and mainly they just kind of proved uh, that the flat back diff covers just don't do anything and they actually somewhat hurt your rear differential the reason why it hurts your differential is because of the gear oil um, on the stock covers have a concave to the cover if you know you you know by just simply looking at your rear diff cover um, and what they proved is that the flat back when the ring gear is spinning and your gears are spinning and you're moving down the road that with those flat back covers the oil spits up but then just hits the back of that cover and actually doesn't kick back up and over and into the ring gear to give good circulation and one to keep your oil um, to keep all your gears properly lubed and also keep cooling. You know, that also happens, the reason why they kick up like that and they have this back concave is to help with cooling. That's to help cool that rear diff oil. And Gail Banks certainly covered that in his videos and did a great job on it with all the testing that they did. Um, I think they did like 3D printed covers and stuff like that. It was, it was pretty cool. If you don't, if you didn't look at those videos, I highly suggest watching those videos. I don't remember if he utilized this cover or not. Um, I, I don't think he did. I can't remember. Don't, don't quote me on that. You can, you can tell me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, most of the time people do anyways, but, uh, anyways, so the reason why I went with this one is one, because it's concave pretty much exactly like the Banks one is concave. Um, it's got the aluminum cooling fins and not only does it have cooling fins on the outside, but it also has cooling fins on the inside that make a big difference, uh, to the rear diff. And, from PPE, those cooling fins on the inside do not affect the motion of the oil getting spit back up onto the ring gear. So just covering that right now. These covers do come with a lifetime warranty as well. This is another, vers another reason why I went with PPE. Um, also, I'm a big fan of PPE products. They have really good products out there. Um, I do plan to run the transmission pa pan on this, tr on this LBZ as well. Um, I think I'm gonna run the D-Max Store oil pan. I'm not sure if I'll run the D-Max Store one or PPE. Like I said, I'm a big fan of the PPE products. And last year when I talked to PPE at the PPE booth at SEMA, which I do plan to talk to them again and just see how things are going, see what new products are coming out. Um, I think they're coming out with, this fall, they'll have LMM uh, cast iron cylinder heads ported. Uh, so, but anyways, off topic. Um, the reason why, I went with that is because of relationships. I talk about relationships all the time. Professional relationships are a big key. And one thing is, is I've got along really well with the people over at PPE and um, their products speak none the best. The other way is the Banks cover has cooling fins on the bottom of it uh, that help with air that come up, kick that air that when you're driving up onto the cover to help those cool, these aluminum cooling fins in the back that, that just kind of helps with that. Um, but the Banks cover is like $400. And this was, I do believe, $287. Um, and then I went with the lube locker gasket. And the reason why I went with a lube locker gasket, the instructions for PPE say RTV. Online, they say you can use either a gasket or RTV, like gasket maker. And um, I personally really like the lube locker gaskets that, I, that they use for rear diff covers. I'm a big fan of them. They work really well. Like I said in my install video, if these... If this does happen to leak, I will take that lube locker off and go with the um, gasket maker, but I don't see that happening. So um, that's that's basically that, that you know. Um, again, there's there's three main things. Is it's got the concave looked. It's got the aluminum cooling fins. That's a big thing. Um, 
it's very well priced, very affordable. It's a nice looking cover. Don't be fooled, okay? I'm gonna say that right now. Do not be fooled. One of the main reasons why people run rear diff covers, I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat that at all, is because it looks better. And it does, it looks, it looks a lot better. There's no arguing that, that it looks better than the stock cover. And thankfully this cover not only meets the stock specifications, but also exceeds it with the cooling fins on the back. That's basically what exceeds the stock cover expectations. And also this will um, help give more, if I could get words out, um, give more rigidity, you could say, to your rear diff. Not that it fully really needs it, um, but that's a feature that PPE says that it does. It gives it a little more rigidity, and they're not wrong. They're ab absolutely not wrong. Um, things that I would change. Things that I would change. The studs. I still don't have an answer for you, okay? I still, I, I'm assuming they keep the studs in there for newer trucks. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how that bracket works because I don't have one. Um, but I would just run all bolts. And then my other comment to, on this thing is it comes with an awesome, another thing, the PPE fill plug. And I, I didn't pull the drain plug. I didn't see if the drain plug has one or not. Um, but the fill plug has a massive magnet on it. And that is outstanding. That's good. You want that. You want a magnet in there to be able to catch all those metal shavings because you will have metal shavings in your rear differential. It's, it's going to happen. Um, but I will say they follow up this outstanding plug, this stainless steel plug, but then you get, you get zinc hardware. Um, I think someone commented it on the video or on Instagram or TikTok. I don't remember. Uh, shoot, I can't remember. But they suggested that I go to stainless, and I 100% agree. I do plan to go to stainless hardware on this uh, just simply for the fact that I live in Wisconsin and this zinc is not going to last long and this nice looking rear diff cover is going to look like absolute dog shit after probably one winter of driving because I'm half ass restoring this truck you could say I don't know I don't know what you guys would call it um, I've got the whole back end sandblasted and I coated it in a galvanized, a cold galvanized coating that I don't know how long will last. That's why it kind of looks um, on the sides here, it looks a little off texture because it has that galvanized coating, an extra layer of metal on top of it. Um, and then I coat, primed it and then I painted it. I plan to do it the best I can on the underbody. I'm not doing cab off restoration here. I'm just kind of taking care of the rust as much as, as I can um, to take it back. So that way the other rust that is still probably will exist, uh, will just take a little bit longer to retake over the truck. And um, you can't stop rust on these trucks. So in the Midwest, you cannot stop rusting no matter how good you get it. No matter if I bring up a rust-free truck from the South, like my LBZ, uh, not LBZ, LB7 down there. I got it down, down, uh, down by my backside of my house for some with some mulch but you know that came up rust free and literally you know just a little tiny paint chips and stuff have rust on them and I didn't actually didn't even drive it this winter just standing around so even just the humidity that we have up here in the summer months will that rust things too so um a brake road is a prime example of that um anyways so in the install I do want to talk about this when it came to the install it was very straightforward the one thing, like I said, I don't know, I can't tell you exactly why there's studs there. I think it's for other models, but like I kind of wish that they would separate it. But at the same time, I know logistics wise, you know, and shipping and packaging wise, that would just kind of be a headache of making sure you have the right hardware kit with the right cover. You know, that would just be kind of a headache, I guess. So, But in regards to the install, it was very straightforward, as you know from the video. Um, what would I change? I guess I would have like a table out here with me. Um, I didn't bring a tool cart. I have this like little cheap, shitty tool cart that I wish I had like an actual like rolling table or a better tool cart maybe or a better parts cart. Um, I wish I would have had it a little more organized because I did everything on the ground here. And um, if I had maybe like a table, oh, it's a baby monarch butterfly. Interesting, that's like the first butterfly I've seen this year so far. Anyways, I wish I had kind of like a table just to keep things a little better organized. Um, uh, carbon stra scraping tool came in handy, especially with that old gasket. And some of that gasket actually um, absorbed rust and was kind of hard to get off. So the carbon scraping, carbon scraping tool really came in handy. Uh, I had one can of brake cleaner. I would do two cans of brake cleaner. 
to make sure you get everything out of there. I did get everything out of there, but I used every ounce. I So I had to be a little more strategic with it towards the end of the can. Um, so there's that. I use Valvoline 75W90. I have used Amsoil in the past. I'd recommend either of the two. They're both very, very high quality gear oils. Um, I don't know if Amsoil uses Valvoline base and then just changes things a little bit. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but the Valvoline 7590 is a great gear oil. I, th I think they claim it's like the number one gear oil in the country right now or some shit like that. But um, So that, that's what I would recommend. You can go, you can do with other brands, just kind of do as you please. You know, a lot of this is uh, subject to opinion. Rear diff covers, you either like them or you hate them. That's kind of what it comes down to. I'm a really big fan of it. I'm glad I got it. I would highly suggest it. Again, I got it from D Max Store. And if you paid attention to the last week's video, D Max Store actually sent me out the wrong cover. Um, and I found that out on that, that Sunday. And they shipped it out to me, the new one out to me on Monday. I shipped the old one back to them on Monday. I got that new one on Friday, installed it on Saturday, published content for you by Monday. Oh, what it pays to be a creator. Um, that was, it was a lot, but it, it worked out really well. Um, like I said, the install was straightforward, not really too much to talk about. You know, I like to do these kind of conversations about the install, um, about the product. There isn't really too much to talk about the product because, you know, the, the stock diff cover is perfectly fine, if I was to be 100% honest with you. I like the look of this one. I think it looks clean. It doesn't look gaudy. It honestly, it looks like it belongs. Um, it goes along with the beefiness that these rear ends have because these are big ass rear ends. Like, they're big ass rear ends. When it comes to this, when you're coming running high horsepower, there's not much you change in here. I mean, you change the gears, but you're not changing, like you don't get like a billet cast and stuff like that. All you do is basically weld um, the axles together. You put in upgraded axle shafts, you upgrade internals and you just run it. So like these things are beefy, you guys. And I think these covers complement uh, the rear, the ass ends of these trucks really well. So I, I, I just really, there's not much to say about it. I'm, I'm really happy with it. I'm happy with the gear oil. I'm happy with the lube locker. I'm happy with the cover. I'm happy with AutoZone. They helped me out great by shipping the oil out to me um, in a timely manner. Uh, happy with D-Max Store and how they fixed an issue that, it wasn't really a big issue. It was just an issue for me because of creating content for you guys. I have a schedule. A little bit is on me. I'll take ownership of that as well. I didn't open the I got the package about two weeks ago or a week ago. And I should have opened it right away, and I didn't. I just trusted that it was the right package. And, you know, so a little bit ownership on me on that part. And then as well as PPE, a shout-out to them for creating an outstanding product, an awesome product that um, I would suggest anybody to run. You know, this cover does add, I will say this, it adds one extra quart of oil um, into your rear diff, so there is that as well. I think on the paperweight, I don't know if it's truly one quart. We'll see. Um, the pay, I think when we did the paperweights, um, or even this one when you change out the gear oil. By the way, gear oil freaking reeks. Like, I went to dinner after doing this install. I, like, was eating my burger because we went to Red Robin. I was eating my burger, and, like, I could taste. Even, I washed my hands, like, three times. I could still taste or smell. And, like, once you smell it, it like, goes in your nose, and you can kind of, like, taste it, too. That gear oil smells so gross. Anyways, it, it adds one quart of oil um, to the gear to your rear differential, that's, that's, that's another feature that it adds. I don't necessarily know if that makes a huge difference or not. I think Gail Banks in his videos talks about it. I don't remember. I'm not an engineer. I'm not a product, uh, big product guy like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a quick explanation of everything going on about the rear diff cover. If you have any questions, make sure you comment them below in the YouTube video. If you have any questions in regards to the podcast, you can send me a message on Instagram if you need be, um, and I will try and take care of them on there. So that's, uh, like I said, make sure you watch the install video. And uh, I got the cover from D-Max Store, got the gear oil from AutoZone, and the P cover is a PPE cover from... Pacific Performance Engineering. Have yourselves a great day, afternoon, night, morning, whenever you're watching or listening to this video.